acting captain Tom Allen and welcome to the Platinum Lounge aboard the SS Unsinkable. So firstly, the bad news. We've run aground. Secondly, some further bad news. The captain's done a runner with all but two of the crew. Though judging by his boat driving, is it really bad news? I have assumed the role of captain and why not? I suit epaulets, I did a week of sea scouts and I use phrases like boat driving. <laughs> Now for some good news. There's land, ahoy, to the port, to the starboard, and the, the front, and um, the, the boot. <laughs> Four islands, all visible from the ship, where our passengers can go and live. Sadly, there's literally nothing on them, and the only people we could find to run them are four Fickle comedians who've all been at the minibar. It's Johnny Vegas, Sarah Pascoe, Ninia Benjamin and Ahir Shah. <laughs> The resources on this boat slowly dwindle. Our passengers need somewhere to live, so our comedians will be competing to attract them by filling their islands with their favourite things, like Julie Andrews. <laughs> At the end of the episode, this lot from below decks will be voting for the island with the best stuff on it and moving there. At the end of the series, the biggest population wins the coveted title Best Island and this pile of booty. <laughs> Are you going to call your island? I'm going to be calling my island the island of Poye. Poye? Mm. Now, mm. explain to me what this is. What so, this is? in the early 19th century, mm. there was a Scottish guy called Gregor MacGregor. It's the most Scottish name I've ever heard. Extraordinarily, yes. <laughs> so, Gregor MacGregor uh, raised lots and lots of money uh, in London and in Paris, I think, uh, to fund a colonial expedition to the magical and fertile land of Poye in the Caribbean. Uh, the only problem was that Poye did not exist and he just ran away with everyone's money. So, oh, this... He made up an island mm. and said, everyone, let's go colonise it. Mm. And they were like, that sounds brilliant. We love colonising places. <laughs> yes, this was white people in the 19th century. I think 250 people went to find it. 125 of them died. <gasps> we don't feel sorry for those people. True, maybe we shouldn't feel sorry for them. They were stealing them. other people's land. But I don't know if they did teach us a lesson other than they just died. <laughs> that's the biggest lesson of all. Yeah, oh, that's true. So, but, so, but Dip, does this island actually exist, though? Just for the people who might be choosing to go there. What could be better than a fake island that made someone very rich than a real island that's going to make me very rich? OK. All right, we're going to hear from Ahir now. Now, oh, what sort of bag are you going to...? Well, so, I've taken the knowledge that there are going to be a lot of pensioners on the cruise. Yes. And I want sort of... You know those, like, shopping trolley ones that pensioners, like, pull along? Oh, yeah. Which seemingly have more capacity than the TARDIS? Yes. Uh, and they're all, like... I don't know, like tartan, maybe. Tartan is perfect, uh, yeah. But, importantly for this, because there's going to be a lot of beaches, we've not got roads and everything like that, so they're going to have, like, all-terrain wheels, like on a dune buggy or something oh, like that. Oh, that's clever. So you've got the sort of carrying capacity of an OAP stocking up at Aldi. Yeah, and, which is huge. And the sort of devil-may-care dune buggy attitude uh, of Timothy Chalamet. So, so, like a shopping trolley that you could sort of take into the Gulf War? Yes. Okay, yes, perfect. precisely. Do you know I've got a shopping trolley? I ain't no OAP, right? I've got, very useful. Yes, I do. I've got a shopping trolley. It's red, and my shopping trolley actually has all terrain wheels. And <laughs> I, I just love my shopping trolley, and I'm nowhere you near. You, yeah, you I love, love it. it. Yeah, it's you great. Sound like, it's you great, sound like isn't James it? Bond has given you a shopping trolley. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> so, I'm having specifically Ninia's Q Branch shopping trolley. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the one you want. Yeah. I've, but what I've... are you going to carry in it? Because what, what are you carrying around your island? Well, whatever comes along. I'm sure as hell going to be able to carry more coconuts than she is, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, yeah. Carry okay. more coconuts than Sarah. I you... can tell you they, ta they can take at least ten coconuts. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What animal would you like to have on your island? Uh, I'm going to go for the Indian elephant. <gasps> oh, oh, beautiful choice. And there is one arriving oh, just there. Oh, African elephants looking at the screen like, what? <laughs> 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 well, uh, the thing is, is that by the time that we get to the end of this series, it's going to be increasingly apparent that my island is just India, but Sean Bean's there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, love to, I'd love to watch that episode of The Real Marigold Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that. Elephants, they're, they're beautiful, they're charismatic, you can ride them, but you're never sure if you should because it seems definitely cruel. Is uh, it, though? You see people doing it and you're like, I'm sure that... It's horrible. The elephant's not enjoying oh, it. Yeah. Also, we can protect them because uh, they're not going to get poached here for their ivory oh, or anything like that. That's, that's very nice. important. Nobody plays the do. piano on Poirier. Uh, also, they uh, never forget. 
Uh, and so it. they're very well suited to be our first historians. Uh, do you think Sean Bean maybe will be riding round on one as chief of police? I think that he could have a police one, yes. A police one. It would be good for stopping riots as well, because it has, like, a built-in, like, water cannon yeah. at the front to calm <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah. down. And also, cool if everyone. anything's kicking off, then everyone's, like, like, say a fight's about to start, and then you'd both just be like, is that Sean Bean on an elephant? <laughs> I mean, the thing about elephants as well, of course, as we can demonstrate this evening, they're great for starting awkward conversations. Because <laughs> you always talk about the elephant in the room. Well, can I kick it? Have you not seen the elephants that break into a brewery? No, no one has. OK. <laughs> what are you going to give to your islanders for free? So, the free thing on Poye oh, is going this. to be healthcare at the point of delivery paid for by general taxation, but it includes dentists! Oh! No oh, finally! Don't you feel stupid, you two? <laughs> Finally, oh. somebody said something that people actually want. I, th I think that it'll be fantastic, because... Look, you, there's going to be lots of tropical diseases, one assumes, so you need something to protect you. Yeah. Loads of uh, STDs, because none of us got condoms. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was none of that. Just yeah, a, just a, a, banana, 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 a lot of unwanted pregnancies. Uh, a lot no, of I unwanted. don't think anybody will be having sex because we've all been whipped that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there will be a lot of... Because um, Olympians, you've got a lot of Olympians on your island, mm. and they are notorious shaggers. Mm. Yeah. They love it. Apparently. And they bring the different stuff from all over the world. Oh, yeah. What? Sex stuff? Yeah. <laughs> sex, sex moves and <laughs> sex diseases. Yeah. What, what do you think it's going to involve, you know, to set up a healthcare system, what do you think you're going to need? Uh, I think it's, it's going to be pretty expensive because I think that dentists are accustomed to a certain kind of lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I went, like my dentist is a lovely man, but it costs, like, 85 quid to say hello to him. Mm. Uh, right, and I'm like, like, every time I come out of that dentist's office, I'm like... Do I need teeth? <laughs> you do. You have the record. You do need them. But, like, my grandmother didn't have any teeth. She was perfectly happy. Yeah, my grandmother yeah, didn't either. Oh, Hold some fake ones in. Great. <laughs> I hear. Yes. Uh, what is your sport? Uh, I am going to go for the sport that is, in my opinion, uh, the greatest. No shade to Sarah on her choice, but I am going for the sport of cricket. Oh, a lovely game, no, a lovely game. It's not exciting. It's not. It's no. not, it's not trust exciting. me, it's not. How can you play a sport for three days and still have a draw? Yeah. Well, that's why you have the fourth and fifth day. <laughs> so can you... It plays for four or five days? Yeah. People love cricket. I mean, do you like it, Sarah? No. Um, I, do, I, I, do, I like sport in general. You do? And I would never want to ever sort of sully someone else's enjoyment in sport, but someone mm. told me, oh, cos we were in Australia, I'll go to Melbourne, sort of, it's a uh, Boxing Day, they do a special test, and it's a bit quicker, so it'll be exciting. And was exciting, exciting was not the word. <laughs> <laughs> the one day cricket, I like. I went to a uh, seminary, and when I was younger, we couldn't afford the jumpers, so they knitted them and it didn't have the wrong... So they put me in outfield, and I used to just go off and build a den. <laughs> And Does... nobody missed me from the match. <laughs> <laughs> I basically built somewhere to live while the game was going on. So, we're asking, what is their island's toast? At stake here, five people who are back from mobs and are back on carbs. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. What toasted dish have you chosen? I have gone for the classic millennial option of avocado toast. Ah, oh, <laughs> avocado on toast. There it is, smashed avocado. Yeah, it's Not delicious good. and it's apparently while I'll never own property. Exactly. <laughs> You've spent all your money on smashed avocado oh. and that's why you'll never have your own home. Oh, no. There it is. Doesn't it look nice? It's beautiful it stuff. so nice. Mm. <laughs> and sourdough as well. When did all bread become sourdough? What's wrong with a bit of King's Mill? <laughs> Sourdough's low GI. Is it really? Yeah. Low G what was that? So, your glucose index is low, so it's less likely to be converted straight into fat in your body. Oh, so it's actually better for you? Yes! And do you know why it's also better for you? It's because you don't eat as much, because when you try and cut into it, it just flies off your plate. And also, <laughs> and also it's got the big holes in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's got big oh, holes yes. in it from the air, so it's also holes. less calories than yeah. that. I mean, I'd spent, you know, most of my life with pre-sliced bread, and I was suddenly like, why is this my job now? Why is it... <laughs> it's more expensive, and it's now my job. And it's how... Not... I mean... Apparently, there's nothing better than sliced bread. Yeah. <laughs> so, why do they bother coming up with this? And I... What are you going to ban? Murder. Oh, now that is a very interesting choice. Yeah. But I love it. Yeah, I think it's really bad. <laughs> but why? <laughs> think about it. You're on a lovely tropical holiday. Mm. 
You've got your mango lassi. There's some lovely, lovely elephants roaming around. Lovely. If there are any problems, you've got free healthcare, and free dentistry. Mm. The one thing that you absolutely do not want is to be murdered. Oh. I completely agree. I just wanted to say that I actually managed to do this on my island already with Mystic Meg, which is why I got uh, a psychic as a police chief. Right. <laughs> is to, so I'm going to argue against you because that's the game, yeah. but also but not because I'm pro-murder. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. Well, this is the thing. We, yeah. haven't all got, we haven't all got a uh, psychic as our chief of police. Exactly. My chief of police is Sean Bean, but even Sean's a great guy. He can't be in all places yeah. at once. No. Yeah. And he can now just specialise in minor crimes. Mm. Mm.